So hi everyone, welcome to the video abstract for our new neuron paper. Uh, in this story, uh, we present a report that actually bridged neuroscience to neurooncology. And in fact, what I'm going to introduce today is actually two things. Uh, one, the hard, very uh, stiff uh, brain tumor tissue. And second, the very soft and normal brain uh, tissue. So in fact, um, as early as 900 years ago in ancient Chinese medical writing, uh, the doctor actually documented that solid tumor in human body often becomes stiffer and stiffer, or harder or harder. And the harder it is, um, the tumor malignancy increases and the outcome for the patient becomes worse. So in this uh, study that, that we have performed in the hospital for sick children, uh, we are very curious to identify what is the mechanism that makes the brain tumor harder, and what is the molecule that sends this changed mechanical environment in brain tumor, and can we develop a therapeutic approach um, to treat brain tumor through modulating the mechanical properties of brain tumor. Let the journey begin. Hi everyone, I'm Xin Chen, postdoc in Dr. Xi Huang's lab. As we know, PLO1 is an iron channel that converts mechanical stimuli into similar signaling. In this work, we perform multi-species studies, including Drosophila, mice, and human glioma cells, to define a feed-forward circuit mediated by PLO1 and tumor tissue mechanics to promote glioma growth. To determine how solid tumors sense and transduce mechanics, we first established Drosophila glioma model then to display tissue stifling and facilitate a genetic study to identify the stiffness regulator in vivo. By expression glioma oncogene in Drosophila glial cells, we dissect the fly larvae central nervous system, including brain nerves and the ventral lower cords. Tumor brains show apparently enlarged brain tissue growth compared to normal Drosophila brains. Tumor brains also show higher stiff tissue stiffness compared to normal brain through atomic force microscopy indentation measurement. Interestingly, genetic deletion of Drosophila PLO in tumor brains significantly reduce tissue stiffness but have low impact on stiffness of normal brains. Through bioinformatic studies and immunohistochemistry on glioma patient tissue samples, we found that PLO1 is overexpressed in human gliomas and is inversely correlated with patient survival. Lockdown PLO1 also suppresses the growth of the human GVM stem cells. By xenografting these cells into immunocompromised mice, it is shown that PLO1 lockdown inhibited in vivo growth of GVM and significantly prolonged the survival of mice burying tumors compared to the mice burying control tumors. By performing wholesale voltage clamp recording of mechanosensitive currents on GBM stem cells, we found that focal mechanic force activates permanent PLO1 dependent current from glioma cell processes, whereas identical stimulation paradigms invoke little to low response from the soma of the same cells. This compartmentalized channel activity is reinforced by the immunostaining evidence showing PLO1 localization and focal adhesion site permanently clustered and GBM stem cell processes. We then culture GBM stem cells in polyacrylamide hydrogel of various names of stiffness, which encompass the stiffness range from a normal human brain to glioma. The number of GBM stem cells undergoing activate cell cycling as well as the total number of cells increase with stiffness. However, PLO1 knockdown abrogated this stiffness dependent tumor cell growth. Unexpectedly, We've also found PLO1 expression was upregulated by the increased environmental stiffness. To identify PLO1 target genes with high confidence, we performed RNA sequencing of two GBM stem cell lines with and without PLO1 lockdown, and found that multiple pathways, such as those in mitotic cell cycle and response to mechanic stimuli, were altered. We also performed computational analysis to identify the common genes detect both as PLO1 correlates gene from TCGA dataset and altered gene after PLO1 lockdown 
from those two GBM stem cell lines. Strikingly, this unbiased, large-scale bio bioinformatics interrogation of both human tumor data sets and the differential gene expression after PL1 lockdown in glioma cells revealed a total of lie genes as high confidence PL1 target genes. These target genes, including regulator of ECM remodeling, acting cytoskeleton, and uh, the me mechanical sensitive HAPO signal pathway. So, I'd like to bring the model in our work. During disease progression, tumor tissue stifling provides a favored mechanical microenvironment to activate PL1, which localized and various tumor cell regions, including focalization. PL1 regulates assembly of focalization activation of the integrating focalization signaling, tumor cell proliferation, as well as the expression of number of genes involved in ECM remodeling. In addition, tissue stifling in the tumor further increases the MRI and the protein level of PL1, which in turn elevates the mechanosensory and the mechanotransduction capacity of the tumor cells. These processes form a reciprocal feed-forward circuit between tumor cell mechanotransduction and aberrant tissue mechanics in gliomas to promote malignancy. Based on all the findings we've presented to you so far, well, we came up with this autistic drawing that can uh, represent some of the key elements in our findings. So first, what you're seeing here is a very icy, cold, barren land. There's no signs of life. Um, in the very middle of the picture, uh, you can see the trimeric uh, mechanosensitive ion channel piezo-1. And we are hoping to identify a sword representing right in the middle uh, as a way to break this disease-promoting machinery that piezo-1 is conducting uh, in many human brain tumor. And you can see, hopefully, if we can obtain this uh, novel approach to uh, of, uh, impact on the function of piezo-1, perhaps we can make the brain tumor soft again, representing here uh, as uh, a water coming out in the very middle uh, of the icy world. And there are plants, there are fish, and there are signs of life. So please stay tuned. Uh, what we are working on now is a screen for novel chemical compound that we hope one day we can develop into novel therapeutics to treat brain tumors through targeting piezo-1. Thank you for listening to our story.